Okay, guys, can you hear me right now? Okay, perfect. Um, and then teacher Leslie. Okay, cool. Great. No, you guys, uh, you guys still can. Let me check. Oh, okay. Okay, so, um, good afternoon, good evening, whatever. Um, so I'm going to start now. Um, so the webinar right now is uh, the hidden confirmation. So uh, as uh, you can see here um, in the syllabus of pop notes, I just show you guys the confirmation is only engulfed. You know, everything uh, involved engulfed is confirmation, but I didn't show the other side of confirmation, such as like here I stated here. Mm, I say the confirmation is not only in the form of engulfing, and confirmation can also be in the body candle as long as the price doesn't touch the end of the trend because it will be more high risk. So the reason or the meaning, the meaning of end of the trend is the danger zone, something like that. Okay. So um, if you notice that, um, if you notice, you saw a perfect as an RC1 or as an RC2, um, but it still um, break your entry. It means that it still break your um, your pending limit there, and your pending order, and you got frustrated and you start, you know, like uh, you start frustrated, of course, and um, you're thinking, what is the problem? Because, you know, as I have talked in the YouTube, this one support and resistance stuff as a RC1 and as a RC2, but it still break your uh, pendings. What happened? Okay, so um, here I'm going to show you. Um, wait. I want you to go back to the hybrid. Okay, I want you to go back to the hybrid. Hybrid is not a setup, but if you notice, actually, hybrid is hybrid is up there. Hybrid is direction. Yes, hybrid is a direction. It's not a setup. It is direction. Okay, and um, my most favorite hybrid is hybrid too. Um, but uh, if you cannot find um, uh, reverse candle or if you cannot find uh, what is it called uh, engulfing candle you can use hybrid but I will show you later how it looks like okay and um, but the formation is like this okay this is the confirmation who doesn't touch the danger zone yet okay so I give you an example what's the example okay this is danger zone and, and what you can see here, this is QM reversal. Low, high, lower low, and higher high. And you see this higher high didn't touch the danger zone yet. Can't you see that? Okay, and then the price came back to the previous low and continue fly. I like to take a uh, danger zone as TP2. Okay, for example, that this is my TP1. Usually the previous low low or previous high high is my TP1 and my danger zone is my TP2. Okay, um, um, if I uh, if I enter in the more than one position, okay. Guys, can you hear my voice? Why?
Guys, can you hear my voice really? Because I saw you cannot hear my voice. Yes. Okay, cool. All right. Okay, so um, I'll continue. Okay, this is SNRC1. You can see the price start making downtrend and then suddenly price break the, uh, this downtrend. And then in the meantime, price making SNRC1 setup. And Will's price making as an RC1, the price didn't touch the danger zone yet. Don't worry, guys. I will teach you danger zone and road plot in the next web, what next webinar. Okay, I'll just show you the direction first. Okay, and then price came back to the as an RC1 and continue flight. So this is how it looks like, okay? Okay, when you remember direction, you have to remember hybrid. Yeah, same like this. We have danger zone here. Okay, and then we see the QM reversal setup. We have low, high, low, low, and higher, high. And then price came back and continued by. You see, the price making higher, high, this higher, high didn't touch the danger zone yet. So it's category valid to, to entry. And here is another example. We have blind spot. I don't like blind spot, but I'll just show you this. We have danger zone. Okay, and then price making blind spot and the price didn't touch the danger zone yet. And price came back and continue flight. So this is GBP Canada H4. Same like this, we have the SNRC1 cell. We have a strong support, we have drop base drop and this when uh, was it making drop base drop, it doesn't touch the danger zone yet. Okay. And next example, we have QM continuation, which means QMC. We have danger zone. Danger zone, and then we have QM continuation here. Okay, and you see low, high, low, low, higher, high, and price making higher, high, this higher, high, didn't touch the danger zone yet. So you can you can buy that. Okay, and same like this one, we have SNRC1 setup. You see, after making rally based rally, it doesn't touch the danger zone in here. Okay, and then price came back and continue fly. Okay. Okay, same like this. Mm, this one is is um qm reversal same everything is same and this one also you see you um why you guys say that uh you cannot hear me well clearly clear okay yeah cool okay Okay, and next, this is what this is QM reversal. You can see price making up trend and then suddenly price break the trend and then making QM reversal. And you see, will it break the trend? This lower low doesn't touch the danger zone here. Okay, and um, usually this is our entry and i'd like to put my tp1 here and this is my tp2 okay <clears throat> and here is the another example okay we have danger zone here and then price break the uptrend and then price making snrc2 we have strong support we have rally based drop and then um you know price making lower low here this lower low didn't touch the danger zone okay and then price came back and continue fall so this is my tp1 for snrc2 and this is my tp2 for snrc2 so i like to put danger zone as a tp2 if i put um more and uh, more than one position okay 
and yeah same like this this is qmr and something like blind spot we have danger zone for us making downtrend and center with price change to uptrend and then uh we'll price making higher high this higher high didn't touch the danger zone and then price came back and continue but this is my first tp and this is my second tp okay and last year we have uh, danger zone okay price making downtrend and then suddenly price break the downtrend and then we'll see break in making a scenario c2 we have a strong resistance we have drop base rally and then price came back and continue fly so this is my tp1 and this is my tp2 okay all right um i show you in the chart okay this is my entry um i seldom trade lately so um what i remember i entry this this is qm reversal you can see price making up trend and then suddenly price break the uptrend yeah same like hybrid okay and then price making um what is this uh qm reversal okay qm reversal and then um price break Price making lower low, but this lower low didn't touch the danger zone. Okay, and then price came back to here and continue fall. You understand? Okay, same like this. I cannot see well. All right, you can see here. Hmm. Okay, we have downtrend and then suddenly price break downtrend and then this is our qm reversal low high lower low higher high and in the meantime you can see this is entry point in the same line with the previous low and then price came back and continue flat so this is our danger zone okay i like to put that this is tp1 and this is my tp2 do not be greedy it's okay Okay, and um, the another example, I can find it here. Yeah, we can see this is some uptrend. And then what we can see here, that the price break the uptrend and we can see this is high, low, high, high, lower, low. And price came back and continue fall. Okay, this is my TP1, this is my TP2. Okay, so yeah i hope uh, i explain it clear to you and uh, i don't like to explain more longer uh, i just um, simplify it so that you can understand more and yeah so so far any question Oh, wait. Guys, any question? Um, you know, like, uh, if you cannot find reversal or engulfing, you can use hybrid because hybrid is not a setup. Hybrid is um, direction. This is the reason why uh, some pro, I don't know, pro, I call it they pro traders really angry I I release this um hybrid two yeah this hybrid two and hybrid one I don't know why um they really pissed off okay but I don't give a fuck with it okay any question guys um okay aha uh -huh. you guys asking me where do i put my stop loss <laughs> you know stop loss is my enemy right i hate stop loss but uh usually my stop loss is 15 to 30 pips from the entry point that's why i like entry point more than zone um 
Okay, for example, in GBP JPY, you can see here, this is my entry point. Uh, okay, this is my entry point. Okay, so I, um, I mark it here, my entry point and my stop loss is 30, uh, 15 to 30 pips. So this is my stop loss, my first stop loss. I have to watch this area, okay? Or the uh, or if the price close, um, I mean like if you if you can see that the price close uh, more than the what is it called um, more than the entry point yes uh, I have to uh, I have to be worried about that but um, usually my stop loss is fifteen to 30, 30 pips from the entry point okay. A sharp entry? No, I don't like sharp entry. I don't know why people really love sharp entry. But usually my entry are sharp entry. I don't know why. I never intend to to get a sharp entry. No, I don't like sharp entry. I like profitable entry. Any question, guys? The blue zone that I draw, is that from line chart or candle chart? Ah, I like to start from the body candle. Okay, for example, yeah, I never draw like this. I never, yeah, I like to draw like this. Because if I draw this, I miss the bus and I will cry. So I like to draw it from here. I start from the body candle. Okay. Um, can be applied in all time frame. Yes. Exactly. Doesn't matter. Okay. Next question. Uh, how do you identify for a long swing trade? Yes, by this. Um, Okay, uh, it it happened in Euro New Zealand lately, not lately. I think last week. Uh, sorry, last month. I forgot one of this. Yes, it was like um end of June, something like that. Actually, um, this is my entry. I shared uh, my entry in my personal IG. Um, okay. In weekly, I saw bearish engulfing. When I saw bearish engulfing, um, there's confirmation also, and there's hybrid also. So it's a bonus for me. We have double confirmation inside it. So um, when I saw it, uh, it happened in weekly. So I, I, I can get ready to swing. You understand what I mean? Okay, and um, yeah, from daily and H4, we see because um, I just a day trader, but uh, when I see something like this, uh, engulfing candle and I uh, mean like confirmation, we have double confirmation in um, weekly, so I can know that it's a swing trading, so I just hold it until it reach my TP2 here. Okay. But I seldom um, take a swing trade. I don't like swing. In which time frame the best to draw a hybrid? Um, any time frame. But I suggest M5 and above. I like to start with M15. And um, I like to start with gold or Bitcoin. Yeah. If price make QM sell, but at the same time QM buy, I don't understand. <laughs> We're talking about confirmation, either <laughs> confirmation here. It's okay. Uh, if price make QM sell, but at the same time QM buy, um, I think it happened in GBP USD. I have I have explained in pop notes, right? 
price making um wait i show you here um i forgot where um please uh please um refer to the pop notes i have show you the price making uh qm sell and at the same time price making qm buy at the same time uh depends on which uh i mean like uh depends on the price which uh which one price take first i don't know i think i show you in the in the pop notes i have posted there please check i forgot where okay next yes this is recorded don't worry okay how do i mark level as an rc1 and as a, how do i mark please refer back to my video about as an rc1 and as an rc2 this is very basic as an rc1 as an rc2 Any question? I'm sorry, guys, because the the question box is too small, so I cannot read it properly. Yeah, so it takes time. Um, I don't know how to um how to identify a strong rejection because for me, um, as long as it engulfing. So that is confirmation, but you have to make sure does it touch the danger zone yet or not, because it can be fake out also. Okay, I have uh, explained about stop loss. Uh, any question guys? Um, about danger zone, I'll, um, I will explain in the next webinar. Um, I explain about danger zone and roadblock also, so you guys can understand more about the direction. Yeah, because you know, I heard you guys complain about why am I an RC1, bars didn't respect, why this and why that, and yeah. Okay. Any question? Can, uh, what, what is it? QM manipulation, QM manipulation. Um, I have shown you before, QM manipulation. There are many types of QM manipulation, but I suggest you if you find QM manipulation in the lower time frame, you have to switch for the higher time frame and you look for engulfing. Easy. If you find QM manipulation but you cannot find the confirmation as engulfing in higher time frame, you will die. I mean, like you can entry, but um, for me, I'm not going to take it. It's uh, we need confirmation if you want to entry with more lots right uh, full margin or what is it no full margin i don't understand your your question okay which one want to see first engulfing or setup up to you but for me i look for the setup first and then i look for confirmation um you know i don't i'm not like other people i don't have that ability to to uh to analyze uh this is sell zone after that price will go here go there no i'm not good at that i just um open my chart and i look if there's any setup appear and if there's no setup i just close my mt4 and i do something else yeah Any question? Any more? Smaller, yes, can apply in smaller time frame. Uh, 
Okay, so um, I have no idea where's your. Okay, so guys, any question? I think my internet is okay, but what happened to you guys still can hear me? Guys, um, ask question in the pop notes, in the pop notes comment. Don't ask you, I cannot read your question. I cannot read your question. Ask in here. Okay. Um if we see too high or high, which one to pick? Um which one to pick? Wait, let me see. Uh if you see the too high high, uh what do you mean actually? Oh okay. Yeah, some traders they ask me, uh maybe this one is QM. <laughs> Right, maybe this one is QM, so which one? So I like when the I like uh when the QM is in the same line with the entry point. We have entry point here. So the price will come here. Uh what is it called? Uh, the price will be more interested to the entry point because um QM reversal doesn't have entry point something like rally based rally or drop based drop, but if uh, if the previous high or previous low in the same line with the entry point, so price will be more interested to the to this both. Okay. Yeah, I got I got many questions about this. Wait, let me read. Um, how to know roadblock occurs? Um, I'm going to show in the next webinar. Um, danger zone and work block. No worries. What's my favorite setup? Of course, QMC. <laughs> my favorite setup is QMC. Do we have tips how to recognize fake hybrid? Fake hybrid? Um, fake hybrid when there's no reversal yeah um fake hybrid um there's no fake hybrid uh wait let me show you because hybrid is a direction big uh it's not a setup um uh, identify fake hybrid Mm. Uh, there's no. I will. I will try to find it. If there's any fake hybrid, because for me, um, hybrid is uh, um, a high probability setup. If uh, if it has setup inside. I will find its uh its weakness. I will let you know. What's the preferred broker for Bitcoin? Thick mail. Uh, usually before I use um I use IC markets, but um thick mail got Bitcoin lately, so I use thick mail. It's better. How do you mark trend line by body or by shadow? Uh, do not worry worry about how because um as long as you find entry point is enough but uh for hybrid it's up to you but if you notice i like to mark um the body 
I don't like to mark the the week. Okay, any question? Wow, a lot of question. Uh, actually, um, this is not um, complete yet because you guys didn't learn about the danger zone and roadblock. You guys will understand if I explain more about danger zone and roadblock. Okay. This, um, I just show you the direction with the setup. Uh, because, you know, most of you uh, ask me why this setup is beautiful. We got um, it's an RC1, strong support, strong whatever, and then still break my entry. Why? Why? So, yeah, the, the reason is um, one of the main reason because it touched danger zone and the location. Yeah. When do you consider hybrid to be invalid? Um, okay, I want you to watch my uh, hybrid. I forgot, is it hybrid one or hybrid two? Um, it falls because it has two confluences. You will understand. Um, I will show you later, but uh, you watch the video first. I have show you in the video. Can show one example of QMC. QMC, you have to watch my video about QMC. Uh, just search QMC versus club in YouTube and you can find it. There's a lot of, uh, there's a lot of examples there. I'll show you. Can you show us perfect? Can you show us perfect QM setup? Uh, ay -yo -yo. uh perfect QM setup, but it didn't respect the setup and go against it. Ah, uh, this one also I have to find it. I didn't prepare about it, guys. I just prepare for the con uh, hidden confirmation. I didn't prepare for the QM setup la, uh, QMC la. Okay. Can you identify why CLAP and QMC setup fail? Can you show me which one? Because usually, um, if you want to entry uh, continuation setup, the best continuation setup I have mentioned inside my top notes is after the reversal occurs. You understand what I mean? That is the best location where continuation occurs. Wait, I need to to read one by one. I don't know where which one I start. Um, do teacher always draw danger zone before entry? No, that's my weakness. Sometimes I just saw, I just saw entry. I just saw setup, and then it happened in GBP Canada. Yeah. Yeah, let me show you as GBP Canada. Uh, it happened in GBP Canada. I saw that the price, oh, that one is I, uh, the, the price already made um, late retest and then it doesn't sweep my entry and I lost. Yeah. Wow, a lot of questions outside from the title I have mentioned here. Um, uh, the engulfing just body ignore shadow. Yes, I don't like shadow. Shadow or wick is, uh, I call it fake out. I don't like fake out. I mean more to body candle. If your 
entry hit SL and then leave a week. Will you uh, re-entry? No, I will. I will close. I will switch off. I will close my MT4. What's the best time you can suggest as I'm working and taking care elderly and suggested time to check the chart and entry? Um, taking care elderly and uh, you know city sarah the first i learned trading and uh, taking care of my mom too and um, my mom uh, had an alzheimer and yeah um i'm not only taking care of her i have to do a lot of things for her but you know god knows and um uh, it's quite tough, but you have to know your schedule. But for me, um, I like to, um, I like to, I like to check the chart after four or uh, during London open. Yeah. So please, all the best to you. Uh, it's not too hard. It's not too difficult. Um, you just checking the chart, checking if there is any setup, and yeah. You don't need to look at the chart for a long time. No, not at all. Can you tell us how to do intraday using your strategy? I don't have <laughs> my strategy. Yeah. Um, I don't know how to I don't know how to tell you, but um as you open the chart, you look for any of your favorite setup. But for me, I look for any fantastic five QMC or SNRC one, SNRC two, any completed setup and I just entry. That's it. I don't have any um strategy. <laughs> no. No. How many pair you look for setups per day? Um, usually I I I look uh, gold is my priority, and right now I look at the uh, Bitcoin or any kind of cryptocurrency. But uh, before, um, if I don't find any gold, uh, any setup in gold, I will go find in GBP pairs like GU, GJ, yeah, something like that. Okay, um, um, what else? Can you show us how you do the step to find setup, any setup? How to find setup, any setup? How to find setup, any setup. How to find setup, any setup. Um, um, guys, I, I have shown you earlier. I have shown you in my video how to find setup. Why I have to, why I have to show it again. Like, um, okay okay i know uh okay like here i don't find any setup in here i don't find ah you see we got qm reversal I, yo, yo. okay and uh yeah well we got bullish engulfing oh not really bullish yeah but price that jalan um yeah um how i show you inside my video you have to refer back to my video guys how i find setup there's a one video um i do live how i find as an rc1 how yeah how
what's the win rate of Fantastic Five? Mm. The win rate, I don't know how to mention the win rate because if, um, for example, um, my favorite is QMC, but if this QMC got no club, I mean, it's like got no confirmation, um, it's useless, you know? Uh, it happened in uh, in gold last time. It, it was QMC, but there's no club. Everything must need um, confirmation. For example, you guys say that you like SNRC1. It has um, a very highest win rate, but if there's no confirmation, it's useless. Okay. Uh, is it danger zone same time frame with the setup or we use um, this one? I will show you uh, in the next webinar about danger zone and roadblock. It's um, yeah. I'm not going to talk about danger zone in detail right now. Teacher da asa, yeah, I know that. <laughs> okay, and uh, uh, how to draw hybrid? Um, I have mentioned in my, I have mentioned in, I have mentioned in my previous video, and I have showed it here. How to draw hybrid? It's just easy. Okay. Confluence uptrend and then price break uptrend. And then at the same time, you see QM reversal and then price came back and continue fall. Okay. And in higher time frame, you can see reversal, a very strong reversal. It doesn't engulfing or uh, doesn't do something like a a solid engulfing, but it made a reversal candle. Okay. All right. So, any question, guys? <clears throat> okay. I think um, that's all for now. And um, uh you um uh, you guys i saw that uh you ask a lot about danger zone no worries i will explain in the next webinar just wait la okay so i think that's all for now and um i hope you understand uh what i explained here and yeah thank you very much bye bye Oh, uh, where is...